So today we're going to talk about uh, two different economic models and their views on government spending, borrowing, and fiscal policy. So the first model we're going to talk about is classical theory, which is attributed mainly to Adam Smith out of the Enlightenment, uh, laissez-faire economics. Most of us are pretty familiar with that. Uh, the main assumption in classical theory is that the market will always be at full employment and that people do behave rationally and have confidence in, in the marketplace. Um, so that being said, uh, classical theory is wages go up, prices go up, wages fall, prices fall. So the market's always going to find that equilibrium, that, that balance point uh, where it's perfectly balanced. Um, as we see in the Great Depression, that wasn't the case. There was a lot of uh, unemployment at its height. One in four men in this country weren't working during the Great Depression. Uh, so there was a second uh, major economic theory that's kind of spawned out of the Great Depression, and that's attributed to John Maynard Keynes, uh, today called Keynesian theory. And uh, the main difference between the two is that uh, where government spending in classical theory is hands-off, laissez-faire economics, like I said, uh, classical theorists don't believe the government should be involved in the market. Uh, Keynes believe that, uh, especially times in deep recession or depression, that the government should uh, spend money to offset private sector spending or lack of, off, um, of private sector spending. So this is kind of the justification for the New Deal out in the 1930s where uh, there was a ton of public works projects like road building, bridge building, stuff like that where, uh, where money wasn't coming in from the private sector, the government was pumping money into the economy. Um, classical theory uh, uses little fiscal policy uh, to manage the aggregate demand, um, whereas Keynesian economics suggests the government should use fiscal policy, again, especially in recession, to um, to boost the economy. Uh, as we're, like, in 2008, there was calls for austerity, like government uh, spending cuts. Uh, but uh, President Obama chose to uh, pass the stimulus package, which kind of like the New Deal, public works, uh, stuff like that. To get to pump money back into the economy, so using using fiscal policy to bolster the uh, economy again. Um, in classical theory, uh, they don't really believe in government borrowing. Uh, they try to limit government borrowing uh, because it decreases taxes, uh, which they believe will then give uh, citizens more money to spend in the market. As where uh, Keynesians believe that in times of recession. Uh, the government may need to borrow money in order to bolster um, the overall aggregate demand. Um, so, you know, like, they borrow money to pay for stimulus, stuff like that, and bolsters the economy as a whole. That's their, their, their view on it. Um, uh, Supply-side economics is kind of like the big thing in um, uh, classical theory. Uh, they believe that this is what has to happen like supply side is the be all end all of making the free market operate um so they they tried and during the great depression many classical theorists argued that they needed to reduce the power of unions to prevent uh wage inflexibility and They tried to emphasize the role of supply-side policies in promoting long-term economic growth, as where Keynesians don't really reject supply-side policies. They just think that it's not enough uh, in times of recession or depression to bolster the economy. Um, they say that supply-side policies can't deal with a fundamental problem of a lack of demand. So they're saying if, if nobody has the money to... To demand these products, uh, bolstering supply-side economics isn't going to fix it if nobody wants it. So that's just a general overview of uh, how classical theorists and Keynesian theorists uh, view government spending, fiscal policies, uh, borrowing, and supply-side policies in the economy. 
And I just kind of gave you a general overview of how both of them operate and, and view these, these, uh, these problems. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for today.